Hello everybody, it is Thursday, March the 4th, 2021. In just a few days, we will come upon a year since COVID-19 really hit hard in our country and hit hard here at Good Shepherd. It was March 13th when we decided to uh, shut down in-person services. But since July up until now, we've pretty much been opened up with certain restrictions, guidelines, and protocols, which y'all all know by now. Um, people are starting to get the vaccines. I've had both of my vaccines. Everybody on the staff has had at least one shot. And probably many of y'all have already had some of your vaccines as well. And hopefully by the end of May is when uh, we're hoping that everybody that wants a vaccine can get one. But at least and up until then, we're gonna keep all of our guidelines, our protocols and procedures in place. We wanna take care of each other. And just because I've had the vaccine doesn't mean that people uh, will not be infected with COVID-19. And just because you have had the vaccine doesn't mean you might be carrying the virus around. So we want to just really take care of each other. So the protocol, you probably know it, but I'll say it again. If you are all feeling bad, uh, cough, fever, aches, tiredness, all those symptoms do not come. If for instance, you're getting out of town, a lot of people are traveling now. It would be a good idea when you come back from your traveling to get a test. They're real easy and they're simple to get, especially now. That would just be a good way to get, continue to take care of each other. We're not uh, infecting each other. So do your self-assessment. When you come to the church, wear a mask. If you don't have one, we have masks. We will take your temperature. That will be done uh, at the door to make sure you're not running a fever. Now, here's another thing that we have frankly gotten a little bit, uh, I'll say sloppy on this. Let us do our very, very best not to clump together and congregate in the narthex. I know it's the place where we see people, we get excited, we want to talk to folks we haven't seen in a while, and I, I'm as guilty of it as anybody else. So I'm going to try better to stay outside until the service starts. Don't clump together. You will come in, the usher will give you, will take your bullet, will take your temperature and give you a bulletin. They will escort you to your seat. You will go to your seat. The first people will sit in the front, and then as people come, we'll, we'll rotate our way back. And that's how we'll get together. So when you come into church, this is how we want you to do it. Look, here's Sandy Scorpit coming to church. Sandy, so glad to Hi. see you today. Hi. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll hug later, but not today. Now, you want to have your temperature taken by Kathleen the Usher. You're good to go. Let's Did Sandy see. make a reservation, Kathleen? Yes, Sandy is registered, party of one. Okay, remember, and make your reservation so we know you're coming, especially as Holy Week and Easter come up. We'll need those reservations. They're imperative that we know you're coming. Okay. Okay, as we begun to be here more regularly and things have eased up a little bit on the virus we've changed some of the ways in which we come and go in the church the first thing is the altar party so that would be all the clergy and our verger who acts as the christopher we are coming in as normal through the back and all the way to the front we also will be exiting the same way as we normally do that just reminds us of how worship has been and will be again in the future so just know that the altar party we're doing that but for you folks that are coming to worship with us, you will come in, as I said, the first people will go to the front and then you'll work your way back. When it's time to leave, the ushers will escort you out. You will go out the door, the sacristy door on the other side of the pulpit and let them take you out so that everybody can go out and you won't be crossing each other. What you see here in my hands is another change we've made over the last few months. Initially, we just gave bread to everybody as you exited out of the church. What we've got now, these are very neat and clever little containers, wine on the top, bread uh, on the bottom. We will bring these to you on these tray. Um, I will come like a Kathleen, I will say the body and blood of Christ, and she will take it. We will not give it to you. And you will uh, commune yourself, and after that's over, we'll have the regular uh, Eucharistic closing prayer, the blessing and dismissal, and after that, the clergy party will recess out the door like we usually do. And Janice will say, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And then the ushers will take people out from Kathleen here in the front out and swing back around. But we'll be out there 
waiting for folks to greet you and all that sort of thing that we always do. So another thing we've been doing in the last month or so is we're trying to accommodate folks who, for whatever reason, cannot come to in-person service and we have drive-by communion. So what we do as soon as uh, we can get ourselves outside after the service is over, um, the clergy and uh, Eucharistic visitors like Kathleen are out here with communion. So we accommodate folks if you are close by to walk, please do. Because look, there's Tina Kern has come out for a drive-by. Thank you. And there's Sandy, who's come out for communion. <laughs> so it's really just as simple as that. If you can and are able to come to worship with us, please do. We worship here at 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 5.05, three different services. It, it is really, really helpful to call and get reservations, uh, particularly as we get closer to Easter, more and more people are coming. That helps us just to make sure we have space and also for contact tracing should somebody get sick. If for whatever reason you cannot make it to the service, we have what you just saw was um, drive-by communion. So, we're doing our best to be the church. We're doing our best to, to be able to participate in the worship in whatever way you can and to celebrate the Eucharist and have the sacraments. So um, we want everybody to be part of this wonderful community in whatever way you can. If you can be in person, that's great. If you can only be here virtually, you, we're together. We're built joined together. So thank you. Thank you so much for all you're doing to help us be the church. And we look forward to seeing you either uh, in person or online or drive by. Blessings to you. Bye.